hello friends today we are again back to the unit 5 web of things and cloud of things i hope you have uh, enjoyed your previous lecture videos where we were introduced with the different platform standardization efforts taken by uh, the different communities for wsn rfid scada and uh, all the related terms of wot so we are today with web of things and cloud of things uh, today we are going to see about the wot portals as well as what is there in wot related to business intelligence then in the next video we will talk about cloud of things so here myself kenjan my and i am working as an associate professor in SNJB's College of Engineering, Chanford. So we'll start with uh, the next part of this video. Now uh, we are studying about WOT, and uh, we should understand what is the uh, universal multi-tier WOT architecture. Now this WOT architecture, which is a multi-tier architecture, is divided into three layers: basically, data layer, logic layer, and presentation layer. So in presentation layer, we are busy with uh, graphical user interfaces and uh, human and machine interface. In logical layer, where we uh, apply certain logics related to uh, the terms of WOT. So we here we have two things to be studied about. That is whatever IoT connectivity or web connectivity is done with the help of a application server and applying search in business intelligence on the iot connectivity and last part that is the data layer you have operating system hardware and you have the database so this is what the wot architecture is having three types of layer data layer logic layer and presentation layer so here the data uh, layer actually handles all the data generation and storage in wot and it also handles all the data which is gathered from various sensors and it provides a mechanism to store that particular data. So that is why you have real time database over there to store the data. Then second term is the logical layer. The logical layer actually is known as a middleware which uh, is defining the application logic of the old uh, WOT system. And uh, there are different techniques like applications of a utility using IIS, .NET framework uh, which is there which all are implemented in IoT and the business intelligence too. Third layer is a presentation layer which defines actually the user interface of the WOT which I already discussed that user interface is related to uh, IoT uh, and WOT is presented in the presentation layer which provides a mechanism to access the information and all the services which are provided by the previous two layers so all the graphical representation like report generation data mining reports uh, and all the <coughs> human machine interface tools which are used in scada etc are a part of presentation layer so we have seen that wot architecture consists of three layer data layer logic layer and presentation layer now next we are going to talk about that there are different different portals which are specifically working for WOT and what is portal actually we are all knowing that web portal means what uh, it is just website that uh, functions as a point of access to the information in the world wide web. So actually the portal presents the information from various sources and gives it in a unified way in a universal way it is presented before all. So web portals actually have portlets which is an application in web portal which receives the request and returns the appropriate information. So we have different web portals over here uh, as you can see these are WOT portals which are web of things portal. So if you see Pashub.com, Pashub is actually enabling uh, you to store, the share and discover the real time sensor data uh, and environment data from various building or other devices. So if you uh, go and watch this passive.com 
you will observe what changes are being done from various buildings and from uh, the environment data is gathered over here if you uh, again refer atom.research.microsoft.com it is actually a portal which is telling you about all the online live data which is there that is related to the uh, pressure versus distance uh, what is the pressure and what is the distance so if it is a microsoft based uh, wot portal which gives you the live data of all the pressure sensor so now what happens actually the wot portals what they do is huge data is collected uh, in the wot portal by large number of sensors and, and they are available in very raw format and uh, to make the sense of this data what wot middleware does it defines a business logic which converts this data into minimal information and this logic is known as actually business intelligence of wt to give the meaning to that particular raw data so uh, data mining and decision support system are well known mechanisms actually to implement business intelligence some common uses of business intelligence as you observe are data report generation then you have data analysis data mining benchmarking so business intelligence take place uh, and is used in these particular cases so le let's see in detail what about uh, business intelligence you can watch a video uh, in the below link which is given we'll uh, analyze what is actually business intelligence business intelligence has two things past and future it actually helps you to analyze the past and it helps you to improve the future how it does it all businesses using it system or manual data actually generate what raw data so whatever the business operations are doing they are generating the raw data this raw data is uh, what is transformed into a meaningful information so typically objective of a company uh, is including more stability and more profit so how to do that is transform that into meaningful information so what is the uh, what is to be done that raw data needs to be analyzed and transformed into meaningful uh, uh, information so to achieve the objective of any company this transformation is actually done by whom by business intelligence so that in future you get more profit you get increased revenue you get reduced cost you have a stability so business intelligence gives you that objective achievement for any company so business intelligence actually does helps the company to analyze the past and make the actions to get a better future it is an approach either technological or process oriented that is anything which is done to convert raw data into meaningful information is actually business intelligence okay so you convert the raw data into meaningful information using business intelligence so what are the basic objectives of business intelligence business intelligence has three basic objective that it will view the past current and uh, predictive uh, points and accordingly perform give the uh, performance indicator that is uh, kpis using the business performance management and then it will report uh, everything on the screen and uh, either in the form of batch reporting so these are three objectives basically view uh, performance management and reporting so view can be past current and predictive business performance is done by key, key performance indicators and reporting is done either on screen or batch reporting so what are these uh, to have these three particular objectives of business intelligence there are three technical uh, approaches which can be done you can do benchmarking you can do mining or you can do predictive analysis okay so these are the three technical approaches with which we can uh, achieve the objective of business intelligence so thank you so much this was all about uh, web of things and uh, portals and business intelligence so in the next video we are going to talk about cloud of things i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much